Alright. Hey everybody, uh, well, it's me again, and I've got to actually make my second video sooner than I thought I was going to, actually, so, uh, I'm actually, I'm doing a cigar, or smoking a cigar right now. It's a Sancho Panza, oh, uh, let's see if I can find that. I bought these yesterday, they got the Briary plates. Here, buy these. And I ended up buying them. And I, I'm not uh, disappointed with them. I had a uh, double Madura yesterday, which was really good. And this is just uh, the, the double Madura was kind of like the uh, CAO, CAO MX2, so that's a little bit lighter. Which, that's a double Madura also. And then this one is just a uh, just a regular Sancho Ponza, which, let's see, is a Connecticut Shade Wrapper, rich blend of Cuban seed tobaccos, and a flavorful Connecticut broadleaf binder. So, or something. I, I got that was a buy three get one or buy two get one free pack top deal. Uh, so alright. fucking sitting there at the briery yesterday smoking my double Madeira Sancho Ponza. Uh, it was just me and my friend for a little bit, about 15 minutes after we'd sat down at the smoking lounge. Uh, this older guy came in, would not fucking shut up about him being in the hospital for like three months and how he was the first person in America in like 2008 to have polyurethaneitis or some shit like that and how there's only seven people that year that had it in America and shit, he would not shut up he just kept on going and going and going and it was annoying as hell but we were me and my friend were probably there for a good two and a half three hours I probably about three and a half hours actually. But uh we were there for a while and uh some other people and we talked a lot is uh it's always fun going to the briery and sitting down smoking your pipe or a cigar. Can't go there without uh, having an argument about something. But we actually stayed away from politics yesterday, which was great. Um, and this guy, he was smoking. Cigar called an assassin. I don't think I'm going to buy me a couple of those. Uh, try out. They're, they're really good. I've been hearing reviews on them like crazy. Just reading them about them on the internet and people, other people smoking them are telling me about them. So I think I'm going to have to get me a couple of those. Last week it was hot as hell. Shorts and t-shirt all week long. And then uh, this week, temperature dropped. It's been raining. It looks like it's about to rain again today. It's fucking gloomy as hell. Fucking 10 o'clock. Or almost 11 o'clock. Uh, 
this cigar has a pretty mild taste to it. Uh, I, I, I give it like a rating 7 out of 10. It's not the best I've ever had, by no means. But the smell coming off of it is pretty good, though. You can probably smoke one of these and the smell of it, and you can probably get away with smoking like a twelve dollar cigar. Uh, it's mild tasting, but the taste is great. Uh, it's all right. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I would smoke them again if I wanted to, but it's not something I'd just go and. Like, I want a Sancho Ponza, give me one, it's not one of those. And if you're going to smoke a double Madeira, I've, I've actually grown fond to the CAO MX2. Uh, a lot of people don't like them though, but people say they burn funny or something, and uh, or they just don't burn right, and I, I've always gotten them burn right and everything, so. They're, uh, they're pretty good cigars. So, but where the fuck this is, this, this Connecticut wrap Cuban seed tobacco scar isn't nothing spectacular. That and the fucking dipshit at the uh, tobacco shop. They, they just had them sitting out. They didn't have the boxes in a humidor or anything in their humidor for whatever reason. So when I got them there, kind of draw, and I hadn't stuck them in the humidor box, so they're even more draw. <laughs> was all right. Oh, the smell coming off this thing is amazing, though. I'm gonna love getting in my truck later to go to work. It's gonna be great. Oh. Shit. Well, I don't really have a lot to say today. Uh, I'm sorry about getting the video out late, guys. Uh, I know I kept on saying I was going to have it out tomorrow, I was going to have it out tomorrow. Uh, I just got called up with a bunch of shit and was pretty busy and just couldn't get around to doing what I needed to do and what I was wanting to do and if I was going to make a video it would have thrown me all off track for that five, six minutes. I mean, that's how busy I was. Oh, uh, fucking people in hospitals and fucking dipshit friends and fucking work and shit. So, uh, it's been a rough week, but uh, but I'll have one uh, another one up uh, hopefully by Monday, and uh, and uh, if you want to rate, comment, subscribe, I'm not really gonna be asking for that a whole lot in every single one of my videos, but uh, I like it if y'all would try to get my ratings up and hopefully get some more views. I mean, I'm I'm surprised I got a hundred and however many views and however many days I had that first video up was fucking awesome uh, for me it usually takes me like two weeks to get a hundred views on any video on any on my other account so maybe this is something good going on so but, uh, I appreciate it guys y'all are awesome uh, keep me informed on what y'all want and, uh, if y'all want me to do a tobacco review uh, pipe review scar review uh, let me know, and I'm actually getting a couple new pipes next week. I got a Mario Grande coming in, and then next week I'm going to go and order, or not order one from the Priory, Priory, but I'm going to buy one from the Priory. They're both big, bold pipes. One's, the, the Mario Grande is, you know, it's not really handmade, it's handcrafted with machines. But the uh, the one I bought from the Priory is hand-carved, and it's dremeled, and it looks like a tree bark that's been shaved and stuff. It's pretty cool. But, uh... 
All right, thanks a lot, guys, and uh, keep on smoking. Learn the hell you're smoking. Just make it sure it's legal. I'll talk to y'all guys later.